Hey guys, GT2King here back today with another video and in today's video we're going to be doing the sixth episode of our how to make a steam bot series. This might be the last episode, I'm not sure yet, but I'm just going to be showing you guys how you can make your bot run 24-7 so you don't have to run it on your local machine. Now we're going to be using DigitalOcean, this is probably one of the best um, sites to use it with. And it's one of the best softwares. I made a brand new account, like I literally just made it, just to make this video. And I actually had put five dollars in as well. So the price for the bot, you only need like five dollars a month, which isn't that expensive, really. And yeah, I've made this new account. And if you want to get like ten dollars for free, so if you get like if you put five dollars in, which is what you have to put in, so it like verifies your account. You'll get $15 if you put in my code as well, so that's three months for only the price of one. And then you could just make a new account and do the same thing if you really wanted to, but it's really not that expensive to run a bot 24-7. And you could probably make back the profit just by seeing that if you run it 24-7, you'll get more trades and $5 a month isn't really that expensive. So there's two things that you're going to need before, and that's FileZilla and putty so putty is gonna be i'll have both of these linked down below just download the clients for your specific um like machines and then you just want to go to digital ocean make an account and everything set up your payment method and once everything's ready and you have the money in just like click create droplet under the droplets tab and from here you want to go to one click apps just so we don't have to do like we don't have to install node.js because it's already pre-installed on some of these one-click apps. So we're just going to select Node.js, which is the software our bot runs with. And you could choose the data region. It doesn't really matter because Steam servers are pretty good all around. I personally find like Germany to have pretty good servers. EU has pretty good servers. The US ones go down, not that often, but they do from time to time. So do the EU ones, so it doesn't really matter. You can name your droplet or just leave it how it was. And now it's going to go ahead and create it automatically. So once it finishes, you're going to be getting some, well, it's going to show your IP, but you want to check the email that you made the account with. You want to actually put a real email because it's going to be sending you stuff and data that you're going to need for putty. So it's almost done and it should be sending me an email in just a second here. So we're just going to wait on that. And there it goes. So I just got the email as you could see here. Let me just get the tab actually, put it there. As you could see, it says the droplet name, the IP address, the username, and this password. So this is why I prefer Putty because the digital ocean, if you click like access console, you can't actually paste data in there. So you have to type your whole password out. Not that that's a problem. I just prefer Putty and I'm a bit lazy. So I don't want to type the whole password out. So we're just going to go ahead and copy, let's say the IP address. We could click open. We, I personally click yes because I tr like my computer is trusted as a host. Um, we could click root and just copy the password as well. Oh, let's click enter. It's going to ask for the password. And then it's going to ask for the password again, the current one. So we're just going to paste that in again. And then we can make our own password. So I'm just going to do ABC123 for this because uh, I'm going to delete this afterwards anyway and make a completely new server. I guess the new pa okay so let's just make an actual good password so that's gonna be our password and we're in the server basically so we're just gonna minimize this for the time being and now what we want to do is use FileZilla and we want to basically just do the same thing actually so we're just gonna go ahead and copy the IP address or we could actually go to let's say site manager let's like create a new site and we'll call it well, can we re rename it? Oh, there we go. We're just going to rename it to trading bot. You could do whatever you want with it. Host is going to be the IP address. The port is 22. Um, we're going to put the normal login. You can ask for password to do it anonymous. So you have to put everything in, but we're just going to be doing the username, which is root. And let me type in the password that I set. So that's that. And I'm not sure we'll we'll just like click connect we'll save the password because I trust my computer okay so it's not an FTP server which is my bad so we're just gonna go ahead and select SFTP and it should be connecting now and as you can see we're in the server on this so now we're gonna be able to transfer files so at this point I personally like to just put my bots in the main directory 
So we're just gonna create a new folder, create directory and enter it. We're just gonna call it bots. And we're gonna make um, the directory for our bot. So we're, we're just gonna call it tutorial bot. You can name it whatever you want. If you have a more advanced bot that you wanna put on a server. And now we're just gonna mi minimize this. As you can see, I have the files here. And this is just like a simple life hack. The node modules, there's so many files and it takes quite a while to upload them all. So what I like to do is just move the three files that we have, not the modules, and then install the modules from inside the server, which doesn't take too long. So as you can see, we have all our stuff in here. Now we can just go back to PuTTY and let's like, browse to the directory. So we're in the default directory, CD bots and CD tutorial bot, which is the directory we're in. And we could type like, if we run node bot.js, it's gonna say we don't have the modules. So now we could just go ahead and let's say install all the modules. I'll be back in just a sec to install all of them and we'll see if the bot runs. Okay, so we are back. We got the modules installed and everything. As you can see here, it was only like five modules, just like the ones we've covered in previous videos. If you don't know how to install module, you just type npm install and the module you're missing. So let's take for example, um, it says we cannot find module steam user. So we're just going to type npm install steam dash user and it'll install the module and you're going to be ready to go. So if we refresh this here, we should, yeah, the node modules are already ready. And as you can see, everything is in here perfectly. So that just saved us a bit of time. And now we could just run node bot.js. So as you can see, it's going to be logging on. It's going to be a brand new like system for the bot. It's going to be fine though. It connected to the TF2 and everything. So I don't know if I have Steam open. I guess I don't even have Steam open. But yeah, you could just like, it does what the bot does. So it accepts offers. It does whatever you have it doing. Just it runs 24 seven. And now what we're gonna do is create screens. This is more an optional thing. You don't have to do this, but if you like close this, you won't even be able to access this these files again. You have to start the server from scratch just to restart the bot. So we're just gonna close that for a sec. I'm not sure if screens are pre-installed, so let's just uh, create one. Okay, so screens are pre-installed, so let me just show you how I did that. So screen, you could find all of the commands for screen just by like a Google search, but to create one, which is what we wanna do, you just type screen dash capital S, which creates one, and then just name it. So we're just gonna call it bot. And it's in like its own instance in the server, if that makes sense. So then you just re-access it, um, close the bot, reopen it and do whatever without having to restart the server. So now we could just, we're in the directory already. So we could just type node bot. And if we, let's say, if you if you wanna get out of the screen, you could just do control AD and you're detached from it. Now, if we, let's say open putty again, where is it? Let me open it. And we go back to the IP address. Let me just pull that up and log in. We could just re-access it without having to restart the server. So I think I typed the wrong path. Okay, we're good. So then if you wanna get back into the instance, you just type screen dash lowercase r and what whatever you named it. So that's that. And you could just like control C to stop it and then restart it, do that, and then control ID to get out of it. If you don't know what you named it, you could just do screen dash ls, which lists all the screens. The trading is the example I did, and the bot is this. So, if there, it's you could get like a more detailed description of how these work. But yeah, that was the video for today, guys. If you guys need like any help with any of these, I'll be glad to help. So yeah, if you want any more like videos regarding trading bots, or you want a tutorial on doing something specifically. Just let me know in the comments below and I'll try to make it if I know how to do it. So that was the video for today, guys. Hope you did enjoy and peace.